So, uh, we're back for problems 4, 5, uh, 6, and 7. So, for example, problem number 4, a pressure gauge 6 meters above the bottom of the tank containing a liquid reads 90 kilopascal. Then, another gauge height of 4 meter reads 103 kilo. Pascal. So, determine the specific weight of the liquid. So, meron daw tayo pressure gauge 6 meters above. So, drawing natin yan sa kanda na. Ayan. So, meron tayong cylinder. So, cylinder. Ayan. Cylinder tayo. Then next, so from the bottom of the tank now, so mula dito, meron daw tayong pressure gauge 6 meters above. Try natin. So ito daw, so assume natin ito is 6 meters. Equivalent to, uh, equivalent to 6 meters. Ayan. Let's. Six meters. So, yeah. mm, okay. Ayan. Six meters daw yan. Total height niya. So, meron tayong pressure gauge dito. So, sabihin natin, ito is pressure gauge. So, itong bilog, pressure gauge. So, so, yung pressure gauge daw, dito, is equivalent to 90 kilopascal. So, ito daw, 90 kilopascal. Then, next, so, another gauge, height of 4 meters, so, another gauge, height of 4 meters from the bottom of the tank, bottom of the tank, so, so, what daw tayo? 4 meters. Mula dito, dito. So, meron daw tayong pressure din dito. Sa part na to. So, copy natin ito. So, ayan. So, ang pressure daw natin dito is equivalent to 103 kilo pascal. <coughs> so, ayan. So, liquid natin. So, assume na lang natin dito yung ating liquid. So, yun yung mga settings. So, red or so, red. So, yan. Assume natin dito yung ating liquid surface. So, meron tayong air dito. So, ang sabi, determine daw natin yung specific weight of the liquid. So, assuming na ganito yung ano natin, figure natin. So, we have P1 and P2. So, based from the uh, theory or principles of the hydrostatics, so, click tayo dito. <coughs> so, ayan. So, pressure below layers of the different liquids. So, consider the tank shown to be filled with liquids of different densities and with air at the top. So, yung sa atin, mayroong air at the top, diba? So, under a gauge pressure of PA. So, the pressure at the bottom of the tank is P bottom. So, P bottom equivalent to summation of H. So, ito, so, applicable to kapag ang kinuha natin is yung total pressure sa bottom. So, since ang kinuha naman natin is unit weight, so, Ang pwede natin gawin dyan is get the difference in pressure equivalent to unit weight times the height. So, yan. So, yun yung formula natin. So, formula natin. So, solution. So, P2 minus P1 is equivalent to unit weight times height. Ayan. So, ito. Gamma to. Gamma yan, guys. So, pressure 2 natin, so equivalent to 
the temperature to natin, 100 T kilopascal minus 90 kilopascal equivalent to unit weight natin. Unit weight is the unknown. So, unit weight times height. So, total height. So, ano ba yung total height natin? So, check ulit natin yung figure. So, yung magiging height natin dyan, so, di ba, ito is 4 meters daw from the bottom. So, ito. So, ito, 4 meters. Ayan. So, ibig sabihin, ito, 2 meters. So, yung total height natin dyan is yung uh, uh, distance between the two pressures. So, ito, 4 meters. So, ang distance natin equivalent to 2 meters. So, lagay ko dito na lang siguro sa loob. Ayan. So, ito, 2 meters. So, times 2 meters. So, ito yung ating unit weight. So, unit weight equivalent to Calculator. <clears throat> Wala tayong cycle na. So, mano-mano na lang. Or, since meron naman kayong hawak dyan, so, sold nyo lang, sold nyo lang din. Sabihin nyo na. So, 103 minus 90. So, 103 103 minus 90 so, 13. So, dipat natin to So, divided by 2. So, unit weight natin is equivalent to 6.5 kN per cubic meters. So, ito na yung ating unit weight. Ayan. So, ganun na kadali. 6.5 kN per cubic meters. Then, next. So, for problem number 5. So, problem number 5 natin. So, if atmospheric pressure is 95.7 kPa and the gauge attached to the tank reads 188 mg vacuum. So, MMHD, so it means that is a mercury. So, find the absolute pressure within the tank. So, to determine the uh, absolute pressure, so diba, since meron tayong tayo P gauge, so, uh, formula natin, P absolute, so solution, so, formula natin, P absolute is P gauge, equivalent to P gauge plus P atmospheric. So, ang sabi, so, atmospheric natin, equivalent to 95.7 kN per meter squared. Then, next, so, um, P gauge natin is equivalent to 188 mmHg. So, mercury yan. So, yung P gauge natin is kailangan natin ito ng weight. So, since given naman yung kanyang uh, height, so yung height is ito. Itong 188 mm. Then, yung HD, so yung HD natin, HG natin, so mercury yan, so ang specific quality ng mercury is 13.6. So, to convert, so convert natin, so simply, 9.81 kN per cubic meters times natin sa uh, uh, height so times natin sa height para maging uh, para maging ano siya uh, pressure so ba pag m meters times mo sa meter cube magiging kilonewton per square meters which is equivalent to kilopascal so 9.81 times specific gravity ng mercury 13.6 times height. So, height is 188 mm. So, 188 divided by 1,000 para maging uh, meters. So, ayan. Ilan yung ating P gauge? So, P gauge simply 9.81 times 13.6 times 0.118 So, ang um, unit weight natin is so we to or I mean, ang pressure natin, P gauge, is given 25 point, yeah, 0, 0.082 kilo pascal. So, ayan. So, ayan. Then, next, so, to determine for P absolute, so, P absolute is equivalent to P gauge, so, 95.7, kilo newton per meter squared plus 25.082 kilo 
giving you to one meter squared. So, ilan yung ating P? Absolute. So, ano nga pala? Uh, kapag mercury, automatic, negative. Ha? Don't forget. So, ito, magiging minus na yan. So, ang ating value, 4P absolute, 95.7 minus 25.08. The absolute is equivalent to 70.618 kN per meter squared or kilo pascal. So, ito na yung ating P absolute. So, that's all for problem number 5. Ayan. Okay, then next. So, problem number 6 tayo. So, problem number 6, assuming specific rate of air to be constant at 12 newton per cubic meter. What is the approximate height of Mount Banahaw? So, kunin daw natin yung height ng Mount Banahaw given yung specific weight of air which is 12 newton per cubic meter. So, if a mercury barometer at the base of the top, at, at the base of the mountain, reads 654 mm and at the same instant, another barometer at the top of the mountain reads 480 mm. So, determine yung approximate height. So, ayan. So, example. Ito yung uh, surface level natin or national uh, grade line or ground line. Then next, so meron tayo mountain. Yeah. And then mountain. Then next, so, ang reading daw sa taas, so, ang reading sa taas, ang height of the mercury is equivalent to uh, 480 mm. So, okay, natin yan. So, ang reading daw dito, so, assume yung may pressure tayo dyan. So, ang reading daw natin dito is uh, 480 mm. Then, at the bottom, so, meron din tayong reading. So, ang na-read daw ng barometer natin is equal to 654 mm. So, determine daw natin yung height of the mountain. So, ito. Ito yung kailangan natin na-determine. So, yung height. Ayan. So, tawagin natin siya. Ah, hirap ng mouse ko. Tawagin natin siya ng value of each. So, ayan. So, ganito na kasing ganyan. So, form na natin. So, solution. So, P2 minus P1 is equivalent to unit weight or gamma times the height. So, ayan. So, ibig sabihin, ito yung unknown natin. So, pressure 2. So, pressure 2 minus P1. So, based on the problems uh, earlier. So, to determine for the pressure using uh, height of the mercury. So, unit weight lang natin, times natin siya sa specific gravity, times natin sa height. So, ganun gawin natin. So, for P2, so, ano ba yung P2 natin? So, yung P2 natin is yung nasa bottom. So, P2 natin, bottom is 654, so, 9810, para maging newton per cubic meters, times, so, times natin sa Times natin sa uh, specific gravity and height. So, specific gravity is 13.6 times ng height. So, ito yung height. So, 0.654 meters. Ayan. Minus. Ayan, minus natin sa P1. Pressure of 1 natin is yung nasa top. So, 9810 times 13.6 mercury yan, times 0.480. Zero. We went to unit weight natin. Unit weight ng air daw is 12 newton per cubic meter. 12 newton per cubic meter times times height. So, itan yung ating height. So, solve ko na lang siya sa alkyl since nagtatagal lang na. Alkyl weight. <coughs> so, 9810 times 13.6 minus 0.654 or times 
minus minus 9810 times 7.6 times 0 0.480 so in that's b so divided by 12 so ang height natin is equivalent to so sana pala i-press tayo no 1934.532 meters so ayan so ito na yung total height na or ito na yung approximate height na ating Mount Banahaw so ayan so that's what our problem number 6 and then for problem number 7 so ito madali lang ito na convert 760mm of mercury to oil of specific gravity equivalent to 0.82 and water. Convert na lang natin siya yung mercury to oil and water. Ganun na madali. So, solution. So, ang sabi, given yung height ng mercury. Then, given naman yung specific gravity ng oil. And we all know that the specific gravity of mercury is 13.6. So it means, so pwede natin siya makuha by the ratio of uh, height of oil to mercury equivalent to uh, specific gravity of mercury to oil. So, yeah. so each oil divided by each mercury equivalent to S mercury S mercury times S mercury or hindi pala uh, uh, S mercury tama ba na divided by S oil ayan so it means so ito transfer na lang natin siya sa kapila so height of oil equivalent to so specific gravity of mercury is 13.6 divided by specific gravity of oil, so we all know that it is 0.82 so times natin sa height of mercury so 0.76 so ilan yung height of oil so 13.6 times 0 divided by 0.82 times 0.76 so height of oil is 12.605 meters and yun lang ang dalit and next, so Wait lang, kung walang tayong tubig. Water, water break. Ayan. So, ano next? So, water na. So, nalala tayo sa orange. So, sa water na nga. Water na lang nalala. So, ganun din. So, each water. So, same formula. Each water. Na. Na. Divided by each mercury. We went to... Uh, S mercury divided by S oil. So, yeah. S oil. Okay na? So, each water each water is equivalent to um, mercury. Specific gravity 13.6 divided by specific gravity of water which is 1. So, diba pag water 1. Divided by 1 times height of mercury, 0.760. Yeah. So, ilan yung height ng ating water? 13.6 times 0.76. So, ganun na other. So, height of water is 10.336 meters. So, ayan. So, ayan na yung ating height of water. So, ito muna. So, that's all for uh, problem number 7. So, ayan. Uh, so, thank you for watching. So, be ready na lang with our uh, seat and pieces. Thank you. So, take your time to study.
Thank you guys.